Good morning and welcome to another week. I am officially starting surgery today. I feel like I'm. this is the only rotation I'm nervous for just because the last three weeks I've had super chill rotations. Like you saw in the vlogs, like psych, I was leaving at 12.30, anesthesia, I was leaving it. I was home by two, not the latest. Like that is not gonna happen with surgery. It's 4.15 right now and yeah i'm gonna have to wake up at four for the next two weeks it's only two weeks and then we have winter break that's the positive positive. and the other positive is that there's obviously going to be zero traffic and parking is going to be so much nicer getting to the hospital that early but so pros and cons guys pros and cons <laughs> i'm meeting with an ortho intern when i get there it's me and my classmate sarah who's awesome so that's nice we do it with we're like paired with a classmate we can kind of divide and conquer in the mornings when we're getting the list ready and I don't know if we actually see, oh no, I don't think we pre-round. I think the first hour, well, until 6.30, we're just like getting the list ready on the computer. Actually, yeah, I just realized that. So that's kind of cool. At least we just get to like get there, sit at a computer, sip on some coffee, aka my Celsius. And uh, that'll be a nice little morning routine. So I'm really excited to show you guys, even though I'm nervous. And yay! <laughs> I was feeling fine for 10 seconds and now I feel like I'm crashing. I'm so sleepy. It's 4.57 and hopefully the Celsius keeps me alive. <laughs> Holy moly. Don't really have a reason why Right, guys we survived a 13 hour day holy moly i'm headed home at 6 30 i did a quick task with my phone so i didn't have to worry about it um so basically 5 a.m to 6 p.m which is wild but residents were fabulous i i wrote some notes and tomorrow's clinic which means i'm gonna dress up in my business casual clothes you guys know i love that so i took some notes and i'll i'll do a little get ready with me in the morning and tell you all about my first day so yeah headed home i'm so excited to tell you i'm excited for this week it's gonna be a lot and stressful and also i have my psych shelf a week from tomorrow so a lot but i'm ready for it guys this is awesome i'm trying not to tell okay anyway bye i'll tell you in the morning <laughs> Yesterday we had four patients on the list and today we have 10 to get ready and it is up to us to update the list with vitals, labs, and ins and outs. Let me tell you about my first day while I get ready for clinic. Wow, my hair looks actually looks pretty cute. I don't know if I want to curl my hair, but we're going to turn this on just in case. Getting fancy. Okay, so the first thing that I'll tell you is kind of like how the morning goes. So we get there around 5 or 5.15. And then, like I said, we have to update the list with all those things I listed. Then after that, we round at 6.30, but today we're actually rounding at 6. Okay, first, I'm gonna change my outfit. Duh. These are my favorite pants. Okay, anyway, I need to stop lollygagging. So, the first thing, like I said, print the list, update the list. We round at 6.30, but today we're rounding at 6 a.m. because we have 10 patients and because there might be something at seven, so we're rounding at six just in case. 6 a.m., we're rounding at 6 a.m. <laughs> so then we round for however long, and then basically the first surgeries start around 8.30. So around eight, I was like planning to stay with the general surgery team yesterday, but then one of the doctors texted and was like, hey, I need 
help because I don't have a um, a resident with me. So it ended up being an ob doing like a robotic hysterectomy and salpingectomy and cystoscopy, um, which I've done at St. Joseph like when I was in OB and I was like, oh my gosh, like if it's OB stuff, like I wanna go because I'm with Sarah, my other classmate, like I mentioned. Since she didn't have a resident, it was so much fun. Like I got to do all, like I actually got to use the laparoscopic tools and I got to like, obviously the med students, the thing that like, you always do in hysterectomies is like the uterine manipulator. So I did that, but then when she was done cutting it out, I got to literally pull out the uterus, which was cool, so cool. And then she let me like use the laparoscopic tools. Like I would put in the grabber and then like pull out the fallopian tube and like pick it up, like grab it from her tool and pull it out and then say like, pull out the other fallopian tube and then the nurse like handed me the tool that has the stitch so I like put it in and opened it up and handed her the stitch so cool and then at the end she showed me how to do stitches which I'm embarrassingly slow at but she gave me tips and I closed a porthole so that was really cool I just wanna dance it Guys, we got some new gym clothes. Yay. Let's see how they look. Oh my gosh. Ah, these are so cute. I um already have this shirt. I just got a second because I'm obsessed with short crop tops these days. And these were Black Friday. So this is like, these ones are like $22. And let me show you the long sleeve. It's so cute. Okay, terribly wrinkly. That's so cute. So born primitive. Don't even have a code. I'm just, yeah. Next time they're on sale. These are like literally the perfect shorts. Anyway. I tried to be a good med student. <clears throat> First off, I had I wasn't sure what our passing score for our psych shelf was going to be, but I was like, okay, I think it's going to be 78 based on, I don't know what data, but that's what I decided to shoot for since I didn't know the actual number. Today I found out it's 68. <laughs> so on the two NBME practice exams, I've already gotten a passing score, but still I want to like double down on my weaknesses just to be extra safe. And I did 14, I found 14 AMBOSS questions on dementia related things because that's one of the things that I like get questions missed on. Did them, did terrible. Good thing. That was a good topic to pick. And then I was going to put in the cards in Anki after reviewing them, but this is what Anki is doing right now. <laughs> and it's 9.54, so I'm going to go ahead and go to bed because I'm obviously getting up at four and I want to get there early to call IT and figure out the printed situation so the chief resident doesn't freak out on us for not figuring out how to print the list tomorrow because that's the med student and intern job, not the chief resident job. And we haven't figured it out and she's not gonna be happy if we don't. I would love to, I like only did 14 inbox questions. Like it'd be really easy to whip out some cards and just really put in, but I can't, I gotta go to bed, it's time. Lunch is packed, clothes are packed my clinic tomorrow so business casual closes in that little cul-de-sac in that extra bathroom that I get ready in um gym bags in the car base bag 
worked out is in the car. I wish I could have went to sleep two hours ago, but better late than never. Good morning, happy Thursday. I'm craving Starbucks because holy moly. Day four, I'm waking up at 4 a.m. Are you kidding me? But nothing's open. I'm sure you guys should probably Google it and see if something is open that early. We have one close to us that one is up of turns on what is open at 4 30. By the way, I have my Celsius, but I'm just really craving coffee, like a nice small treat since it's the like, you know, each successive day gets a little harder to wake up this early, you know? It's only like 4 5 or 4 6. I'm getting out of here early and I'm calling IT and I am getting my printer fixed, okay? See if I can make the chief happy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say it.